There are so many things to enjoy on board the Disney Cruise Line, but one of those things that many of us look forward to time and time again is the absolutely delicious and included food on board. Today, by popular request, we're going over every single one of those restaurants and menus that you can find on board the different Disney Cruise ships and my favorites when you're there. One quick note before we get started today, the menus on board the Disney Cruise Line are in a constant state of change. Sometimes it's one or two items that changes, other times it's the entire menu that changes. So if you see something on a menu on the Disney Cruise Line that sounds amazing to you, I recommend you try it. Don't wait, because you never know if something's going to be taken off the menu. Also, don't forget that these are only the menus for the restaurants. You can always request different things that are not on the menu. That's an important note as well. All right, let's jump in. Starting off first with the Disney Magic and Lumiere's inside, and you can find some amazing appetizers. My personal favorite here, I'm going to say, is the iced lobster and jumbo shrimp. Delicious flavor. For the soup, I recommend the French onion soup, and you'll see the soups repeated as we go through here. And and for your main course, I recommend the filet steak. The desserts on board are always delicious, but my favorite here would be the vanilla creme brulee. I tried the uh, Grand Marnier souffle as well, which is also amazing, but here at Lumiere's, I recommend that creme brulee. Just down the hall, we've got Rapunzel's Royal Table, and for the appetizer, you've got a lot of great options, but here I would recommend the shrimp or the ahi tuna tartare. Not the tower, the tartare. We'll get back to the tower in a minute. The soup that I would pick here is the tomato cream soup, and one thing that I love to do is take that pretzel bread as part of the bread selection that you get at every meal, but here at Rapunzel's, you get special pretzel bread and dip it in the soup, amazing. Again, the dessert menu is so difficult to choose from, and don't forget it changes all the time, but that Gothel Black Forest Tower, I remember that being really, really good, a rich chocolate cream. It's just, it's so, so good, one that you definitely wanna try. The last one on the magic is Animator's Palette, and don't forget Animator's Palette is on all of the different cruise ships, but let's go over a few of my favorites here. I would would recommend appetizer easy win right here black truffle pasta I've gotten a double order of the black truffle pasta before and you can do that by the way just ask your server it's that good it is so so good I don't know how they do it but the taste is amazing I can taste it now it's just it's so good for the soup I recommend the baked potato and cheddar cheese soup and the entree the beef tenderloin the desserts I'm telling you are changing all the time but I do remember the lemon icebox pie that was delicious if you like lemon th this is one you're gonna want to try no doubt now on to the Disney Wonder and Triton's restaurant. As an appetizer, I recommend the iced lobster and jumbo shrimp. The soup, I recommend French onion soup. And the main course, I probably would go for that duck breast. But if you like lamb, they've got the lamb medallion there as well. I can see both of them, but for me, it would probably be the duck breast. For dessert, I recommend that duo chocolate slice. I remember David had it. It was a no sugar added option, and I loved it. I was so shocked that I loved the no sugar added option, but that one's definitely worth trying. Now we're on to Tiana's Place, one of my favorite dining experiences on board the Disney Cruise Line in total, and one of my favorite food items ever. Well, one of two. I mean, these are so, so good. Top two right here. You ready for this? Number one, appetizer, sauteed shrimp and grits. The shrimp and grits is so good, I could get three of them and that would be my whole meal, including dessert. That is how good this food is. It is jaw-droppingly good. I cannot recommend it highly enough. Just give it a try. You can try other things as well, but I highly recommend the shrimp and grits here. The soup, I recommend Mama Odie's tomato soup and the pork tenderloin for the entree. For dessert, I recommend the southern style pecan nut tart. Delicious. I'm so tempted by those beignets every time I see this menu, but let me tell you, I tried them personally. You can skip those. Those are not nearly as good as the ones you can get from Port Orleans French Quarter. Now let's move on to the Disney Dream and the Royal Palace. They have some delicious items here. I recommend the fried brie as the appetizer and the French onion soup as the soup. I think I tried the ahi tuna and I look back at an older vlog and I don't think I loved it that much so I go with the filet steak or the duck breast, whichever one sounds best to you. For dessert, I recommend that strawberry shortcake sundae. Absolutely delicious. One of my favorite sundaes you can get on board, I'm telling you. Now on to the Enchanted Garden Restaurant, another one of my all-time favorites on board the Disney Cruise Line and here comes that other favorite that I cannot get enough of. You've seen it before in the vlogs, it's the ahi tuna avocado tower. If you like sushi, trust me, trust me, try it. 
please, just, just try this one. So good, I had three on one night, or four on one night, I can't remember anymore, but we had so many because we loved them. We asked the chef, especially, could we please have this for another night in the future? They were ready, they were happy, they were smiling with us. Delicious. Oh my gosh, I wish I could bring that home with me. So good. For the soup at Enchanted Garden, I recommend skipping the soup and getting an ahi tuna tower again. That, that's just me. For the main course, I recommend the sea scallops, and for dessert, I would go with that brownie sundae. The third restaurant, as you know, Animator's Palette. Also delicious. Last but certainly not least, we've got the Disney Fantasy. The Disney Fantasy has Enchanted Garden and Animator's Palette, but they also have a unique one, Royal Court. For the appetizer at Royal Court, I recommend the Duck Con. Fee. Very good. I recommend the French onion soup, you know I'm a fan of it, and for the main course, the filet steak. The dessert here is very unique, and my favorite is the classic opera gâteau. Absolutely delicious chocolate cake. I love this one. You cannot go wrong with this one at all. The last one I'm going to go over today is the very special pirate menu on board. The pirate menu is served on pirate night, and they've got some delicious options. My favorite, the crab cake. I've tried other appetizers there, but that crab Crab cake is delicious. From a Marylander here, I'm telling you, crab cake, so good. For the soup, I personally love the carrot and cilantro soup, but David doesn't like that one. He likes the mango soup, and I don't really like the mango soup, so it goes to show tastes can vary. I recommend the carrot, though. It's really good. For the main course, I go with the treasure of the seas, but the dessert, that's the one that really has my attention. Totally different menu, and I recommend that caramel macadamia nut cheesecake tart. Absolutely out of this world. Now, these are the main menus that you can find on board the Disney Cruise Line and all those amazing restaurants, but of course there are unique ones as well for Star Wars Day at Sea, Marvel Day at Sea, DVC cruises, and even Alaskan cruises, they have specialty menus as well. The ones I listed will no doubt make you smile on board your Disney Cruise, but in the future I'm looking forward to trying even more items, items on the maybe allergy menu or the kids menu, just so I can give you a different perspective of some of that delicious food. Now of all the food I mentioned today, my all-time favorites are the shrimp and grits from Tiana's Place and that ahi tuna avocado tower that you can find in Enchanted Garden. Absolutely delicious options. Those are my favorites though. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Is it one of the ones I listed or something totally different? Love to hear from you. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me today. Until next time, have a magical day.